Ground Vibration Tests, GVT, play a crucial role in the testing process of aircraft development. It involves a high channel count modal test that assesses the entire airplane assembly before its first flight. This ensures compliance with certification authorities' requirements and helps mitigate risks. The primary purpose of GVT is to verify the flutter results obtained from simulation tests and minimize associated risks. To achieve this, an extensive modal test is conducted on the complete aircraft assembly, allowing for fine-tuning of finite element models to predict flutter more accurately. Throughout the testing process, several stages require careful and timely management. Let's explore these stages. Preparing the test. This requires 1. Determining the number of sensors required for the ground vibration test. 2. Identifying optimal measurement locations on the aircraft assembly. 3. Selecting suitable drive point locations for modal shakers, such that all modes can be sufficiently excited. And 4. Ensuring the boundary conditions are properly established such that the first flexible mode is well separated from the highest rigid body mode. Finite element models can aid in optimizing the experimental setup for the test, facilitating more efficient and accurate results. Hardware and software considerations for the vibration test. Hardware systems like the Spider ADM and Spider ADXI, equipped with chassis structures featuring interchanging slots, prove highly useful for GVT. Additionally, accurate time synchronization ensures excellent phase matching between channels. With patented dual ADC technology, these systems can detect signals as minute as 6 microvolts and as large as 20 volts on each measurement channel. The EDM modal software, a comprehensive testing and analysis suite, intuitively handles geometry, measurement, and processing of GVT modal tests. It offers various efficient curve-fitting algorithms to extract the modal parameters of an aircraft assembly from the Multiple Input Multiple Output Frequency Response Functions, or MIMO FRFs. To provide a clear illustration of the ground vibration modal test flow, let's explore a customer's test case. Four modal shakers are strategically placed at different locations to excite the aircraft. A wireframe model of the aircraft is created, and 100 accelerometers are mounted onto the measurement points based on the mesh grid created in EDM modal. The input channels for force sensors and accelerometers are configured accordingly. Various output excitation types, such as random and sign, can be used for the MIMO modal test. In this case, the customer is utilizing burst random excitation to control the duration of the output without the need for windowing the measurement data. The time and frequency plots obtained from a single run are carefully analyzed to assess the quality of the one-shot GVT modal test measurement. The multiple reference FRF dataset can be curve fitted using advanced algorithms such as the time domain poly reference LSCE PTD or the frequency domain poly reference least squares complex P-LSCF polyx estimator. The user has the flexibility to control frequency and damping tolerances for the stability diagram. In this case, the customer is utilizing the fast and efficient polyx method to extract the modal parameters. The results obtained demonstrate the strength of the high channel count Spider ADM hardware and the efficiency of the EDM modal software in executing sophisticated GVT modal tests on complex aircraft structures.